We are only five days away from St. Patrick's Day, so Brendan headed out to meet local historian and just great guy Bob Burke on the banks of the Providence River at the Irish Famine Memorial, and we got the, uh, the inside scoop on our state's Irish heritage. Hey, Bob! Oh, Hello, sir. Yeah. How yeah. are you? Yeah, top of the morning. I to, know. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's afternoon I now. I need a new alarm clock. Apparently. Hey, we're yeah. talking Irish heritage today? We are. The heritage of the Irish in Rhode Island goes all the way back to the American Revolution, but then we really get a huge influx of Irish in the 1840s because there's a famine in Ireland. And this beautiful memorial, which so many people somehow don't seem to get to here on the river. It's just a little further down than water fire. Despite a difficult journey, it was the dawning of a new era for the Irish. This was going to become their new home. They would find success in Rhode Island. In fact, Rhode Island's first Irish millionaire ah. builds this building, Joseph Bannigan. It becomes the home of Meeker Insurance eventually. But that's how fast they traveled from famine and destitution to great success. What do you say we walk these streets, the, the banks of the Providence River, and quiz some people about Irish heritage here in Rhode Island? Yeah, let's, let's ask. Finding contestants was a tad challenging. I can't imagine why no one will talk to us <laughs> in this wind, Bob. This is just a light Irish breeze. Where is everyone? Spaghetti and meatballs or corned beef and cabbage, which dish represents the largest ethnic group in Rhode Island? I would say the corned beef and cabbage. All right, now are you saying that because we prefaced this by telling you we were talking to people about St. Patrick's Day, or was that your actual guess? I prefaced it because of what you had said about the St. Patrick's Day thing. We, we would uh, not be good at running our own game so, show. Uh, yeah, I know. The FCC would be all over us. Top of the morning to Hang you, on. laddie. Ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, the world's largest leprechaun. Very nice. This is an historic moment because we're allowing a giant fan on the road show. <laughs> hey, you know. Oh, no, I'm done. <laughs> no, 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 stay. He's a nice guy. Get back here. Which is the largest ethnic group in Rhode Island? Ooh. Irish? The Irish. Awesome. Wow. Awesome. I don't know how Happy St. Patrick's together, Day. Wow, I got it. I right. thought that was really good. Do you think we kind of gave him a clue there? We might have been. You know what? Congratulations. You've won Bob's glasses. You guys do a great job on the road. Show. Thank you very much. Are we still rolling? Who was Rhode Island's first Irish millionaire, and where did he build his building? <laughs> I would say Newport. Yeah. And which which of the Newport guys was Irish? Don't know. He stumped me. Carnegie was was, uh, was Scottish, a right? I'll give you a hint. It's not in Newport. Uh, You're standing a hundred feet away from the building now. Oh, uh, the Turks head. No, good guess. Very good, because yeah. we are 100 feet from the church. We are. The Which Joseph Bannigan building, oh, right Bannigan, behind Bannigan. you. Bannigan. To close out this day, there was just one thing left to do. Well, Bob, we've had quite a day, my friend. A couple of Irishmen wearing the green here no. for St. Patty's. What could be better? I don't look ridiculous at all. No, you look great. No, I like that. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not getting the bow tie Come again. on, you know it's you want to give it up. It's not happening. You know you want to swap it out. No. Yes, you do. It won't happen. It will happen. Could you hurry up? Sorry, Bob. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. <laughs> I grew up uh, in a house. I grew up in a house. My mother is Irish, and that side of the family is all Irish. So St. Patrick's yeah. Day was she would make Irish bread all the time. Ooh, you like Irish, Irish bread? Soda bread yeah. I like Irish soda without the raisins. Because sometimes yeah, they're you don't like no, raisins. I don't like raisins in them. No. I hear that a lot. Even people who don't like you know oatmeal raisin cookies, I like them. Yeah. 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 You see, you get, you're going to get all the classics in it. Will she also be making that this year? Does she still make it oh, or no? Uh, no, my sister, my sister will make it. Actually, the two okay. of them were out last night. They sent me a picture from some Irish bar that they were at. <laughs> 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 Way to go. Having wow. a drink of beer. I was like, yeah, a girl. Good the, job. Yeah. yeah. I nice used to job. like um, putting food coloring in my milk to turn it oh, green yeah. when Absolutely. I was younger. Sure. Mm -hmm.